In this video, we will show you how to replace your AC condenser on this Honda Civic. This will be located behind your front bumper cover. Let's get into it. Okay friends, let's get started on our job. The first thing that I need to mention is you need to make sure you have a professional evacuate the AC system properly. The reason why that is, is because there's a refrigerant inside the system that's highly pressurized. You never want to open up any of the AC system without having a professional evacuate the AC system. The first thing you want to do is have the hood in the upright position. Once you've done that, we're going to be removing this trim panel. To remove the trim panel, you'll find that you have two plastic push clips. To remove each of the push clips, come right in the center and remove the center from the outer portion. It should just lift up a little bit. That would make it in the unlocked position. To do that, you can use a trim tool or flat blade screwdriver. With it in the unlocked position, you can make your way underneath the outer portion and lift that up as well. Give it a quick inspection, make sure it is still reusable, and do the same to the other side. At this point, this is almost free to remove. Along each side, you're going to find that you have another push clip that holds this panel in. We only need to remove the lower push clip on each one of these side panels. Now we'll do the same on the other side of the vehicle. At this point, you can carefully lift up on this. We're going to slide the front out from behind this area. And now we can bring it out and around this and remove this from the vehicle. Now with that out of the way, we have a nice clear view of our upper mounting screws. For this, you'll find that you need to use a five millimeter Allen head socket. We'll put this right in place and turn these counterclockwise to remove them. Now that we have that loose, we can remove the mounting hardware, give it a quick inspection. Once I have it out, I always like to put it back in just a couple threads. We'll do the same to the other side of the vehicle. Now that we've done this, let's safely make our way underneath the front of the vehicle. Now let's make our way underneath the bumper. In this area, along each corner, you're going to find that you have two push clips. Ours is missing one right here. We don't have to worry about that one, but you do want to remove this one. To do this, you can use a small screwdriver or a trim tool. We'll just get underneath the center to unlock it and then remove the outer portion as well. Now we can continue following this. We'll remove this push clip right here. Continue over. And then over in the corner, we're going to remove that same push clip. Once again, this side looks like it's missing the one that should still stay in there.
While we are underneath the bumper cover, if you have fog lamp assemblies, grab onto this area and pull it out of your way. Then you can reach up inside the bumper cover and you should be able to disconnect the wiring harness. Ours has assemblies, but I don't feel any wiring harness up here. I'll double check the other side. Once they're both disconnected, you can move along. Now we can make our way back out from underneath the vehicle and we'll remove those two screws that we had started in by hand. Now we can remove this from the vehicle. Now with the bumper cover out of the way, we have a nice clear view of our AC condenser. We're going to start by removing the upper line. To do that, you'll notice that you have a 10 millimeter headed bolt right here, but we're gonna pause there and make our way down below that. You'll find that you have a bracket that holds the line to the AC condenser with a 10 millimeter headed bolt. Let's remove that middle bolt first. Now, before we remove our mounting bolt for our upper line, it's important to reiterate, you can never open up the AC system without evacuating the AC system first. Assuming you have had that done, let's continue on with our 10 millimeter to remove the mounting bolt and then the line. Keep in mind while doing this, there is the possibility there might be some pressure in the system. Now that that's out of there, let's carefully take hold of this line. We're gonna give it a wiggle and start removing it from the AC condenser. Now that we have the line off of there, let's carefully give the line a quick inspection. On this line, you should find that you have an O-ring. We're going to remove this O-ring and set it aside. It's always a good idea to remove and replace these. That's what it looks like right there. Now we can move along to the lower line. Once again, using a 10 millimeter to remove the mounting bolt. Now that we have the line off of here, let's quickly inspect and replace that O-ring. This one's much smaller than the other one. With both of those lines out of there, we can start dismounting the AC condenser from the body of the vehicle. On each side of it, you'll find that you have a bracket. That bracket is held in place with a 10 millimeter bolt down along here. And then up along this area, there's a small hook. Now we can take this bracket and carefully remove it from the area. Typically I just spin this being extremely careful not to touch the headlamp assembly because I do not want to damage it. Now we'll do the same on this side. Now we can take hold of that AC condenser. We're going to give it a little wiggle and lift it up. Now we can slide this out of here. On the bottom of the AC condenser, on each side, you'll find that you have a rubber mounting grommet. You want to remove these, give them a quick inspection, and set them aside. We will be reusing them. There it is, friends. Now let's clean down the area. I'm going to carefully use some compressed air, but I'm not going to blow directly at the fins because I do not want to damage them. Okay, we're at the point that we can prepare our brand new AC condenser for installation. Make sure you have some PAG oil. That's special AC oil that you need to use inside of the AC condenser. Now with that said, let's get one ounce of this 
and put it directly into one of the ports. Carefully stand the AC condenser with each of the ports upward. We can remove the rubber plugs. Now with those out of there, let's continue on with that refrigerant oil, PAG oil. We'll put in one ounce directly into this port. Now we can install our rubber mounts along the bottom of that AC condenser. Go ahead and slide it right on there. If you want to, you can add a little bit of lubricant. All right, let's get ready to install that brand new AC condenser in the vehicle. Let's make sure that we slide the bottom into the proper ports on the body of the vehicle. Now we can make our way back up here. Let's align the AC condenser with the mounting brackets. As you align that, continue on with your mounting bolt. Make sure you start it in by hand, and then you can make sure it's nice and snug. Let's torque that to 7.2 foot-pounds. Do the same to the other bracket. Now it's time to move along to installing the lines. When installing the lines, you wanna make sure you give them a quick clean, an inspection, and then install those brand new gaskets. When installing the gaskets, it's best to make sure you use a little bit of that PAG oil as a lubricant for the installation process. First, we'll take this and put it on the line. And now we can take a little bit of that oil and lubricate the O-ring. Take the line and put it in place. We'll press it in and make sure it's flush to the AC condenser. Now it's time for our 10 millimeter headed mounting bolt. We'll take this, snug it up, and then torque that to 7.2 foot pounds as well. Now we can make our way down to the bracket. Once again, starting in that bolt by hand, snugging it and torquing it to 7.2 foot pounds. Now we can move down to the bottom line. You know what to do. Clean it up, install that brand new O-ring with some PAG oil for lubricant. Start in the mounting bolt, snug it up, torque it to 7.2 foot pounds. Now we can prepare to install the bumper cover to the vehicle. Before I lift it up towards here, I wanted to point a couple of things out. On the bumper cover itself, you have this area that comes along each side where the headlamp would be located. Looking underneath the headlamp itself, you have a metal bracket. On that metal bracket, it has several tabs. We'll be paying attention to that on both sides of the vehicle. Now towards the center here, you have this mounting hole. And looking at the body of the vehicle, you remember that we had removed those two Allen head mounting bolts. So you want to make sure we have those lined up. 
Now, as we lift this up, let's pay close attention, making sure that we do not damage the paint on our vehicle. Once you have it loosely in place, we'll continue on with our mounting bolt on this side. We'll do the same on the other side of the bumper cover, and then we can realign everything as needed. Along each one of the wheel wells, you want to make sure that you have the wheel well pressed in and behind the bumper. Now we can bring this up and align it with the fender and press it into the proper position. Install your mounting screw. Now we can do the exact same thing on the other side of the vehicle. Now we can make our way underneath the front bumper cover. Reinstall all of your push clips. You just wanna press that right on through and lock it in with the center, just like always. Now let's make our way out from under there. Back up along the top, we'll make sure that we tighten each one of our five millimeter Allen head mounting bolts. Let's finish up with our final trim piece here. We'll take this and slide it over the hood release handle. Along the front of this trim piece, you're going to see you have an area that needs to go underneath this area of the grill. We'll just line this up and start pressing it down into position. Now we can align our side trim panel. Okay friends, the car is back together. At this point, you wanna make sure that you have the AC recharged with the proper refrigerant. Go ahead and take your vehicle for a road test and test that air conditioning. Aside from that, thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.